Hi, this is Skylar Badner, the dorm manager. So excited, we're here at the Field Museum where they have anything you can think of in the history for mammals, insects, spiders, I mean anything. They'll have uh, Native American history, but uh, just about uh, 40 exhibits in total where they just go into the total history of it. So let's just walk in here and uh, explore a little bit. Wow. Wow. This is a dinosaur right, right in the beginning. I think this is the famous suit. Yeah. So this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex suit. It's their main exhibit, actually. They have elephants over there. Wow. This is enormous elephant. I mean, this place is amazing. It's one of the biggest museums in all of Chicago. And it's actually one of the largest in the world for uh, the history of mammals and, and uh, you know, insects and everything. So it's so exciting to be here. <laughs> Continue our tour at the Field Museum here. We have the largest Tyrannosaurus Rex in the world. And it's put together, it's over 13 meters long. And uh, it's about 90 per, it's over 90% complete. It's the most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex in the world. And uh, it's just absolutely amazing how they put all these pieces together. And uh, it's, it's here at the Field Museum in Chicago, Illinois, but you should definitely check it out and just see how, how big it is. I mean, look how small I am. It's amazing. Hi, PSA families. This is Skyler here at the Field Museum of Natural History. I'm here with Rich. He volunteers here, and I uh, just had some questions for him. How long have you volunteered here? Uh, for eight years now, uh, I'm a docent, okay. which means that I give tours, answer questions, do demonstrations, generally about paleontology, but also geology. Okay, great, great. And uh, what uh, what's your favorite part of this museum? Well, I have two favorite parts of this museum. One is certainly Sue, uh, which is the big tyrannosaur down in the gallery. Oh, yeah. One of my other favorite parts is uh, the travel display, uh -huh. which is just a couple sort of rooms back. Yeah. It shows uh, quite a few different species of trilobite, a uh, very interesting kind of animal that unfortunately went extinct about 250 million years ago. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, could you tell us some song about this Ankylosaurus? So this is Ankylosaurus. Um, lived quite a while ago. It's a type of dinosaur, an armored dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Usually referred to as a um, thyreal. Uh, Real foran. Um, you can sort of see it had interesting spikes on its tail, and these plates that are on its backbone there were actually probably used to help heat it up and cool it down. Wow. Wow. Great. And do you have a lot of students that come to the museum? We have quite a few students that come in. We also have families from the area, and actually people from all over the United States and from all over the world come and visit the museum. Wow. Okay. We have quite a collection of. Um, fossils here. This is one of the biggest collections all in one place on display and a lot of people can enjoy things all the way from uh, maybe uh, more than 500 million years ago up until the present. Okay, really cool. Uh, and what's, what, would you, what would you say the best benefit for a student to come here? I'm just kind of learning a little bit about the history of Earth. Um, some of the animals that have lived before us um, and just get a good appreciation for natural history and the world that we live in. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Rich. Sure. And we'll continue our tour and uh, really appreciate the time. No problem. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, PSA. Hi, Skyler Badner here. We're in the, the exhibit with Native Americans. So, Native Americans, they lived in North America before any Europeans came and settled here. And we're just going to kind of see what they used to use for daily activities. They, they wore, you know, this is kind of what they wore. And then they had uh, different knives that they would make out of rocks. And you can see there are different battling knives and cooking and uh, hunting knives. And uh, this is their what they used to wear. They clean, they clean all these on boards and uh, just a very basic way of living. Uh, they really lived and moved with uh, the food. So if a buffalo, if a buffalo herd would run away, they would move their tent and their their uh, teepees. Um, this is sort of like what we look like inside of a teepee or or a, or a cabin that they would have. Um, and this was really in the northwest coast, near Chicago area actually. Um, and as you can see here, here's some basic uh, symbols uh, that they would have in front of their in front of their uh, home, and uh, they would keep these. These all mean something to the family. 
um, and then they have blankets and, and different symbols that uh, everything would mean something. It would have it would have a meaning behind it with the family. So really exciting. And then over here, you can just see all the different uh, what they would wear. Um, and you can you can see here it would be very warm because they would they would travel in the winter. They would still hunt in the winter. Um, but uh, a lot of different uh, accessories too, and every again everything means something. So there's always a symbol or a meaning behind it. And uh, over here you can see even more warmer clothing. This is really up north in Canada kind of area where they would uh, hunt and, and gather and everything. So yeah, really exciting to learn about the history. And uh, you, this is just and this is just half of the room. So wow, it's amazing.